welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Uh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machine. And with forever. Here we go. I'm alive. I made it all the way back around here to Thursday. Who would have thought I could have made it this long? I don't know which one of this is the, which way this thing goes. Maybe I'll learn eventually. I'm doing the wireless mic and plugging it in. I'm gonna go wireless right now. I'm wired. Oh, but I already got the headphones. Oh, what do I need these headphones for anyway? This thing. Hello. Ooh. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. It's. Thursday. You can call this number. It's uh, 360 364 You can call the number, get a message, leaving stuff on TV. Yesterday on Wednesday, I did the program at uh, mm, oh, let's see. And <laughs> if I remember. Do I remember yesterday, Wednesday? Probably in the afternoon, around 1 o'clock. I think Yellowfellow was there. Uh, talking to him for like the most of the hour about uh, just like everything, I guess, in general. What is he doing? He's getting donuts, stuff like that. Uh, after the program, I went to work. Must have been Wednesday. And then I was going to work, and it was a kind of a regular th kind of thing. The work is the same kind of place as it was before. And then after that, I went home instead of going to uh, back here. I could have gone like I've been doing, so I just made it back home. I didn't ride all the way up the hill double time, but today, I guess it's going to be the same amount of distance. Well, no, usually it's double because it's like down back, back and forth one, two, three, four times. But I back home is fine. Everything's about the same. Uh, and then today I did went back down there again. I got to eat my breakfast of that uh, Nutra food meal thing. If you're following what I've been laying down, if you're following, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Yesterday I was uh, eating. And this morning I was eating that Nutra meal thing. So maybe I'm not gonna buy any food today. I'm just going to keep eating my neutral meal thing because I have food at the house. Uh, but I went back to work after I, I woke up for breakfast, went to work, uh, did that, been there. And then today, after I on my way back down, I went down there to get some water. And uh, I was at the well, and then I saw that they were doing the, the Black Lives Matter protests again. And I had missed all of those because of the... Um, because of the virus, that's what I was like, oh, what did I do? What was I doing all last year while this stuff was going on? So I didn't get to see any of that stuff live, and I went and I looked at it, and it was there. I said, hi. <laughs> like, hey, what's up? People just chilling. Someone was looking for an iPhone adapter so they could plug in their aux video to the music and they're like hey anybody got an iPhone adapter we're blocking the streets uh, mostly white people but you know they're trying to destroy the white devil too I guess destroy the white devil I never did get my sign out that said destroy the white devil I still kind of want to hold that sign uh, but maybe I don't like holding signs I guess traditionally I didn't like the sign holding thing but now they're out there again it's probably always, it was always something I'll go stand out there. Maybe after this is done, I'm going to go back over there and see if they're still there and hang out in the street. Like, look, I'm in the street. Uh, then I was, I came here, though. I, I was like, maybe I'm going to hang out here for a while, but I wanted to come to the program. Before the night was over, so maybe... Maybe I'll go over there. Uh, after. I want to see if they start marching around. I don't know if they're going to make it over here. 
Maybe they're gonna be on this street. Listen to this. Maybe it's a love. Come on. Yeah, yeah the video is glitching out. That's okay, because I'm not going to use this one. The YouTube live stream is glitching out. Though. If you're watching this on YouTube live stream, we're glitching. But I'm going to, if you watch the other one, it's going to be the better one. We were dancing and singing and moving to the ground and the and 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 I think I'm gonna go somewhere and put down a jukebox. Whoa. Or what's it called? Not a jukebox. I forget what the modern word for it is. Carry the. Yeah, I don't know. Not a jukebox? Jukebox? There's no other um, word. I don't know. What am I gonna do in the adult world at night? Where people are hanging out, letting loose. I'm not gonna drink alcohol. Uh, I'm going to get a burrito. I'm going to work. 4:30 my time. And right now it's all about jamming in those last few moments of pleasure and relaxation, alongside carrying out the responsibilities I have before making myself present at work. I have to make myself present and I have to be put together and I have to have all my responsibilities that were needed to be taken care of in order and straightened out before going into my workplace. And if not, then uh, my life will suffer, my well-being will suffer. <laughs> yeah. And hey, it was a nice time. And I'm going to check the, my mail at my apartment. What's your day like, Kenny? Are you eating a pizza? Are you eating a sandwich? Are you hungry? Do you wish you got food? Are you eating food currently? Did you just eat food? Uh, are you alive and well? I'm alive. I'm um, pretty, I'm fine. Do you believe in a higher power? <laughs> um, no. Did you drink today? Did you drink yesterday? Try to stick with the program. <laughs> Y'all follows an AA, I guess, I think. Sleep? What are you doing? 
there's more protests going on in my town, and I went to it this time for a minute. I would have hung out longer. I got to go get on TV. I have things to do. But uh, maybe I'm gonna go back. I'm eating a sandwich. You know, yesterday you told me to call you, or you said do a show at 8:30, and that's what I'm doing. So I thought maybe you'd be there. Maybe you still will be. Maybe you went to sleep. Uh oh, oh. Some emergency's going on. What is it? Is, are they out here? The protesters coming? Hmm. I'm waiting for them. Um. Did you? Um. Are you gonna repent? Uh, tell me about y what you regret. You gonna? Are you gonna apologize to me? As one of the steps. <laughs> what step are you on? Are you admitted you have a problem yet? Am I not supposed to know that you're in the in this thing? It's like secret meetings. How do you like keep a secret? Is it supposed to be? A, it's supposed to be a secret. Secrets hurt hurt your uh, soul, you know. Uh, if you have too many secrets, so I don't know if it's supposed to be secret or just anonymous. So you tell people about it. Um. No, I don't really drink a whole lot. If you're asking me if I drink today. I've never drank in weeks. Especially now, during this time. Not drinking hardly at all. So, are you drinking? Or <laughs> are you supposed to not be drinking? That's the whole point, right? Are they still doing the protest? I mean, someone was convicted, but I guess there's still no justice, so there's probably still should be protesting. I might go back out there after this. I'm deciding. Well, I'm definitely going to go check it out, at least. Um, I don't want to get tear gassed, but I'll go see what's going on. I do want to witness history. I uh, was so close to it so, so many times on the videos, and I was only blocks away. Goodbye. But I never did end up going over there to check it out in person. Whoa! Hey Kenny, this is Mark. Got kind of a sore throat. I checked it out. I'm okay. It's because I've been singing and stuff. You've been singing. But anyway, uh, uh, wondering if one of these times when the fires goes away, we can check it out and maybe you can come over or something. This is Mark, Mark and Rebecca. Yeah. Come over again, maybe instead of playing guitar or something, I could probably just, we could just probably talk or something. That would be good. I would like that. But anyway, just calling up to see how you're doing. I thought I'd talk to you later. Bye. I'm not I'm not. Hey Kenny, check it out. I got a new CD I made. First nice. CD. Nice. Uh, I did some recording, did some lyrics and stuff. It sounds pretty good. I got a new track player and a couple of guitars from my last. Uh, Stimulus I got, so I'm doing pretty good. <coughs> so you got my throat's kind of sore from singing. You stuff. got the stimulus, huh? <laughs> and you bought a bunch I, of guitars. I was kind of hoping we can get together, maybe over the phone or something. I can tell you about it. Stuff. It's a pretty good CD. Uh, this is Mark and Rebecca. Mark and, and Rebecca. Guess, uh, tell Freddie hi. We haven't seen him in a while, so. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mark, are you in the system? Or is the system flawed? I 
I got a saving over here. Now how do I save the number one while it's going? Dun. Boop boop. What's going on? Are you there? I can't hear you if you're there. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna try again. Huh? What happened? Sorry, you cannot leave a message for three six zero four five. Mm. Scooter, you see that? Are you watching this on TV, Mark? Next week? You got a uh, stimulus to spend all your uh, stimulus money? Well, you got it? That's good that you got it. I know you were uh, concerned about that. You ever going to those protests? They're doing them again. Mm, are you on a helicopter? Um. You gonna go protest for equality, Mark? Racial equality or injustice, anyway? Against injustice? Is it for equality or against injustice? It's like, I mean, it's a glass half full kind of situation here. I have to try to find my brother's phone number. Ow! Oh! In the, uh, in the system, but I don't know where it is. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, that's all the messages we got. Now we're getting back into just uh, making the calls, doing the thing. I want to check out some of this tape stuff, too. Do we call Freddy Priester first, though? Call Freddy Priester if Freddy is not on there. We'll do the message of the future stuff and take a look at some of this stuff. It's been a few weeks, so we've almost been in the studio for two weeks. I think. Or has it been one week? Oh. Program. Hey, Freddie, how are ya? I'm doing uh, pretty good. Um, 
Yeah. They uh, they they they're doing the the protest again. I got to go stand in it for a minute. Oh, cool. Um, did you ever stand in them? Yeah, I did. We walked we walked up to um where is it? The Capitol <laughs> one time. There's like a wall. There's like a big group of cops kind of surrounding them and to get oh, to wow, them really? to get to them you have to walk through the crowd of the cops and you're just like do 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 walking through the I'm walking through hi 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 I'm gonna go yeah 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 you know oh uh, you're Whoa. like you're like excuse me excuse me hey guy you know you're like don't you make it in there yeah, yeah. Like, and they, they uh, let, excuse me can I get through fuck the police <laughs> yeah they let you they let you through yeah. they do let you through though uh. But there's not yeah there's not that many people out there but I only stood out there for a minute because I wanted to come do the program I was nice. like eh, should I protest for they're equality? Chanting, they're saying are they chanting thing? Um I didn't get a chance to chant I was kind of I was kind of like standing there they weren't chanting at the time I was like I'm not I'm only gonna be here for a few minutes somebody gonna start chanting? Oh destroy the white <laughs> devil destroy the white hey, devil. Would you guys mind if we did a quick chant while I'm here? <laughs> yeah because <laughs> I'm about to leave so. <laughs> But yeah. Th- yeah, they didn't. They didn't do it. But uh, they're over there. So um, if they're still there, they go, okay, guys. I I got. I'm kind of busy, but I'm coming back in an hour. If we're still here, I'll I'll stand <laughs> some more. We'll be here in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's That's uh. Good. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm doing the. Future. Oh, I'm I'm queuing up the message of the future. I wonder how oh. long they are there. How long? Yeah, how long? I was th- driving up. I saw them like at the park, uh, with the fountain park earlier. Yeah. So, like maybe at what time was I driving by? Like at seven, something like that. Do they ever um go this way? Where are they right now? They're in their usual spot, like on the corner uh, by City Hall. Oh yeah. Makes sense. It's like right by here. They're right outside your work. That's where they usually always, always hang out. Yeah, that's their favorite spot. Yeah. They buy coffee? Yeah. Uh, no, sometimes we bring them coffee. Oh, yeah. Give, they, give them coffee. They gotta be amped up. Yeah. No, uh, I think that only coffee is a little too fancy. Um, I think they usually like graffiti. <laughs> Our building. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Drink mud coffee. Just leave the building. Go to burial so grounds. Getting coffee, yeah. Yeah. What are you What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm laying in bed. I just we just finished watching an episode of Taskmaster. Um, I I worked both my jobs today, so I woke up at like 5:30 and went and served coffee and then went some coffee to do yard work and then by five o'clock uh or six o'clock i was just like oh my god i'm so tired i can't even do anything so i'm just laying down that's good you gotta relax i wore myself out yeah you know if you at the end of the day if you're not exhausted then maybe you're wasting your life what at the end of the day when you go to lay your head if you're not exhausted then maybe you're wasting your life it could be I, I, my original plan was to do both of those things and then drive to Eastern Washington to visit my family because I last weekend we visited Madeline's family. This weekend I'm gonna go visit my family. We got the vaccine. Haven't seen them. But I was just oh sorry I'm yawning even now. I couldn't even do it. I'm, I don't know. I'd probably fall asleep in the car or I just decided it was not a good idea. You're gonna go tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up super early tomorrow and go. Wow. And then come back on Saturday because I have to work on Sunday. So it's it'll be good. Oh. They didn't want oh, to they're towing a school bus. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it's always good to have that window camera going. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna see. Um, I had a little story. Uh huh. Because, you know, sometimes it seems like everyone's getting vaccinated and, and it's all fine. Um, like maybe COVID is over and we don't have to worry anymore. But um, yesterday, 
I was at my job, and I was working with a coworker who's going to go unnamed. And um, it gets to be about two hours in, and it's lunch break time. And earlier they had told me that they had gone and, you know, I think making small talk, you know, and say like, oh yeah, you go see a movie? No, I said, have you seen any good movies? And they said no, but they'd seen a bad movie, and they went and saw that King Kong versus Godzilla movie. In the theater? And, uh, really, yeah, in a the theater. Wow. Um, I know. Uh, but the movie was not very good, apparently. Did you know how, like, Mecha Godzilla is in it? I don't know, it's, it's really, it seems like they tried to pack too much stuff into this movie and they've like diluted it with just things and it makes no sense. Yeah, well, <laughs> but the real story... The, the, the movie about a giant gorilla versus a giant dinosaur doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Not very well, realistic. Yeah, like I guess Mechagodzilla like was an alien from space that was made like a robot or something, but then had already, this had already happened in the universe, like Mechagodzilla was there. Yeah. But dead, and then the humans are like rebuilding Mechagodzilla for some reason. Anyway, sorry, that's nothing to do with the story, but it's the movie doesn't make any sense apparently. Um, so uh, she had a call when she's on her lunch break, and we should check her messages or something like that. Um, on our lunch break, and then came back in and was like, uh, I guess the person I went and saw the movie with yesterday. Uh, just tested positive for COVID. Oh my God! And um, this coworker had gotten, I think, their oh. first shot. Yellow fellow's calling. Anyway, so right, can I answer I the? Well, the I, I think I can answer both at the calls at once. Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Connecting. Hello. Connecting. Yellow fellow. Hello. Hello? Yo, what's good? Yo, what's good with you? What's good with me? And Freddy's here too. What's good with... Oh, yeah. hi, Freddy. What's good with me? Yeah. Hi, it's me, Yellow... Um, it's me, Yellow Fellow. Hi, hey, we're talking, we're here, we're hearing the story, so then... They, oh, they, then they had to leave work to go quarantine? Were they vaccinated, the person that... Yeah, were they? The I mean, I was wondering that too. They were only one... They had half their vaccine. Oh my god. And, and, and they had been like hanging out in the movie theater with this person who I guess it must not have been vaccinated. And they weren't wearing masks. What movie were they in? So, Mecha Godzilla. Um, yeah. Mason Jar the movie. Mason Jar the movie. They were um. They, <laughs> That's they, a good movie title. <laughs> yeah. Not just Mason. Mason Jar the movie. The movie. <laughs> it's not like. It would have to be like a Pixar movie, like a happy little Mason. Jar or I mean, that sounds like it could be. It could be like a drama. Like a, about a uh, family, the, the mason jar. Yeah, it's like the father cuts, actually cuts his wrist on a broken mason jar, and they can't be a uh, plumber anymore. Or you pass the mason jar from your family, from your mother. To, it's like the sisterhood of the Aya oh, pants. Right. But the mason. Really? But if, if you tack the movie onto it, then that sounds funny. Like anything, you know, like you could call the movie. I was watching the movie Speed last night, and what if you call it? It's Speed the movie. The movie, yeah. Yeah. Like anything, the movie is pretty good. Like, it's like it's already a movie, but um. Oh yeah. It, yeah, it's it, 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 you have to. You're, it's kind of insulting because it's like, oh, do people do they not know what they're going to do? Do they think they're going golfing? Yeah. Have, to have that reminder. Yeah. So gonna go go to but uh, so movie. Freddie's telling the story. Is they're gonna movie. go. They're gonna go. Are they have to quarantine now because their friend was. I guess so. And that's like yeah, don't. They call our our interim manager and man interim manager basically was like you. Go leave as soon as possible. Yeah, so and that's like what left. you do at the at the like <laughs> why you don't want to go to the movie theater. Yeah. Like who's and uh, who's was, there? I mean, you and Freddy right now? Yeah. My coworker is, is like mostly. Are you guys vaccinated. eating pizza? Are you eating a sandwich? But then I'm like eating... thinking, what about all the other people in the movie theater? I wonder if the person who actually has COVID had to like call the movie theater and be like, hey, I went to this screening and like yeah. I had COVID. It's like when you go to the movie theater, do you tell everybody like you have to like write down your phone number for contact tracing? Seems like you you should, yeah. but probably should, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how many people they were in there. Find you on your, on your like, uh, you know, they have make all these weird seat reservations, right? So yeah, I, I mean, like there's a lot of people in like in like uh, food service or in a lot of those industries that are just like, hey man, keep that to yourself. I don't even want to be bothered with this shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Like that's the general the general. Oh my god. Across a lot of the time. 
the the vaccines are like I mean they're supposed to be that's what they're supposed to do but they don't wear masks in the movie theater or they took them off people you're supposed to keep them on when you're not snacking but I was at I went to the movie theater once with my brother to see that uh, Bob Odenkirk action movie thing yeah and um, people don't people just go sit down in their seat and they leave it off yeah from what I saw we were tucked away in a corner but it's just like yeah everyone here is not complying well um, if you're gonna go to the no movies one, in the yeah. first place then I don't think you're you're one to care well there's an argument there for sure yeah oh. and then what are you gonna do like go around be like uh, excuse me can you put your mask on <laughs> yeah it's not gonna happen in the movie theater yeah uh, so anyway, which which movie theater I, I guess so I don't wanna we don't wanna to to knock the movie theaters but I don't, I don't even I don't even know which one it was yeah and then they had to leave, though. I guess I mean, uh, you're. It's kind of scary. Yeah, it's but that's like work. even if even though we're fully vaccinated, it seems still a little scary. Kenny, what's your I favorite piece? Standing there, like, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> like I guess I'm. I'm like, am I? One, I, I kind of just want to leave work. Always. But, yeah. Um. You know, I'm like, do I want to be here? And like, not really. But. Wait, I'm then, staying. I'm staying on the line. Like, I have to put my phone down for a second. Scared? Okay. I'm not sure if I'm scared. I couldn't tell if I was scared or not. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I I, the shift. I don't like the word scared. I think it's like this not the right word to use. Okay, that's true. Because I wasn't scared. I was like, is it safe for me yeah. to be here? Like, am I exposing the customers to bad things? Like, I'm. I'm vaccinated. I feel. Yeah. Safe, safe, but is it morally and ethically safe for me to be serving customers? I asked, I asked my yeah. interim manager, and they said that, I, yes, I was safe. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to do this. I mean, everybody had the masks but, on, and the vaccines are supposed to, that's what the vaccines are for. And I guess they say even if you have the vaccines, you don't have to quarantine. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, that coworker is quarantining. And yeah. I don't know. I guess they probably have to get a test now. Uh, that's like that would that was a nightmare right, for me is to get it in between times so and now you got now you got to get a test too or you're gonna go I mean everybody's vaccinated you go visit your family it's probably fine too it's like still still they're vaccinated I'm vaccinated we were wearing masks the whole time I don't think that there's any chance that I'm gonna get COVID hello her. yeah but hello uh, hello hello hi hello how is everyone today? I'm good. Did you sign up for the vaccine? <laughs> um, I have a link that my brother just gave me today, and I'm going to follow it after work today. Yeah. Because my, brother my brother's being vaccinated tomorrow, and they said the place they found, they'll accept you right away, so I'm going to figure that out yeah. today. I haven't been uh, going to places crazy, but I've been going to a lot of outdoor places and stores and yeah i went to even i went to like tumwater falls and it was pretty crowded in a park for a park but it was outside but i am fully vaccinated now but it's still it's like oh i don't know it's kind of weird thinking yeah. uh, i always get lint in my belly button yeah what kind of shirts are you wearing i don't know i mean any shirt i wear <laughs> you don't know what kind and of shirt you're wearing well, no, it's a t-shirt. Is it cotton or some kind of polyester thing? I mean, I always wear t-shirts. This cotton, cotton blend t-shirt, regular t-shirt? I guess so, but no matter, is it my belly button? Or is it the shirts I wear? Is it a single layer? Yeah, is how it, much? Are you like one t-shirt or you got like a... Because it's always like, like it's a good amount all the time. Top of your t-shirt. But it's like, how does it even happen? I don't know, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of it. But it's, I, it's always like really I'll reach in and it'll be because I'm in my work like break room right now, and I reach into my belly button, and more often than not, there's a lot of lint in there. What do you do with it? Or about I it? I put it on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, I kind of move it around in my fingers a little bit, mm -hmm. like kind of feel it a little bit. It's like satisfying, and then I'll flick it away. I wonder. You know, there's. I mean, it's like a nice ritual. In, in a, in, in a dryer. They, they used to have this little like blade it would like kind of run flat and the clothes would run up against it you know and it would, that's what would fill the lint yeah so you get the lint trap you know 
and so it's like shaving off a little bit. Maybe your belly button is like shaved, or shaped in like a, a way where it's like cutting the fibers off of your shirt from the inside out, maybe. Yeah, do you, do you have a sharp belly button? Wait, I wish I just heard what Freddie said. It was a little unclear. Is your it belly button, how, how, how's the shape of your belly button? Is it, uh, do you have it like a lip? Any. Do you have a little lip on it? Sometimes people have a little lip on it. I don't know. I feel like I have some hair around it. So yeah. maybe the hair acts like it, it, it grabs the polyester or the cotton and like it ropes it in. A little bit of a Velcro, a Velcro hole. situation where your your hair is like the hook part and the, and the other part is like the soft part, maybe. I don't hear enough. The people don't talk about belly buttons being like a fetish thing. I feel like you don't hear Ooh, about that. I don't like. I I don't like that. I don't know who. Nobody likes that. I kind of. Nobody likes that. <laughs> Does that just upset you? <laughs> nobody likes that. It's not a it, like. A if, belly button. If, 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 nobody likes to get I'm messed with that. That that zone is, like too close to your. It's not, it, like not make it feel good. If you somebody gets I mean, up uh, in there. I think it's fun. A belly button. Sexually. Sesame. Sexually. Oh, I, thought you said, I thought you said sesame. Sesame? Sesame? What kind of question? <laughs> <Yeah>. Just enjoy. <laughs> I like that as a question. Sesame? Sesame? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, yeah, but I, 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 I'm not too concerned about my, my belly button, but I do, I do. Hey, I don't spend a whole lot of my day thinking about belly buttons, but now that I'm on the subject, I have some about questions and thoughts, and... You know, I think the right person, I could find the belly button very, you know, probably pretty cute. But yeah, but I you don't want it. Not somebody, you don't want it. You don't want other people touching that. That ma it makes it. You know, makes me barfy. I don't, I, want, I don't think I don't. I don't think I want anyone touching my belly button. Makes me really. barfy. Burpy. Barf. Barfy. Like nauseous. Like ugh. Stay away from that zone. <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah wow. I feel like if if you put a world on that zone, it like hurts in the inside of you somehow. Like it's yeah. still connected to weird organs. And stuff. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah. It's connected to your like stomach. It's like right into your stomach. I think that there used to be when you were a baby, there's like a, a a line that goes right into your stomach or something. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's your oxygen Tom, too. And the, do you remember in the Tom Green movie? Freddie got fingers. Yeah. He's, um, it's my he's... umbilical cord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just takes it and tips. It. He, he is a, he was delivering a baby yeah. in the hospital, and he decided you don't they don't you don't see him deciding this, but he keeps the umbilical cord, and apparently he decided to tape it to himself. He tapes it to himself, <laughs> and oh, then no. and then the 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 they're gonna get down, and the girl sees it, and he's like, "What is, what is that?" He says, that's my umbilical <laughs> cord. And then she's okay with it. Yeah, well, she, oh her hobby was just flipping the uh, half and half containers. Yeah. It's oh my, my umbilical cord. Movie. Yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, I don't want to mess with the belly button. I don't, I don't know what's in there. Have you ever seen anybody with an that's Audi? favorite movie. Have you seen an Audi? No. Not since not uh, as a kid, I guess. I remember when I was, I, was I feel bad about this now. But when we were little kids, uh, I remember there was this kid who somehow we found out that he had an Audi belly button. And uh, as kids, we we uh, were very mean to him. Wow. You just have to find him and apologize. It's a really funny thing to <laughs> yeah. hold against somebody. Kids are mean. And we're just little. Also. Kids are mean. As evil children. Well, I was an evil I, when child. I was in second grade, when I was in second grade, there was a kid. I might have told this story in the program before, but he brought in a gun to school when I was in second grade in Georgia. Oh, my God. And he brought a gun in, and I was sitting in classes. Like, after class, you're getting ready to, like, go out to your school bus. And he opens up the bag, and he shows it to me. And he's like, look at that. And I was like, oh, oh. whoa, okay. What kind of gun was it? And in my mind. It was like a little, just like a little handgun, like a yeah. little, like, um, but like, you know, a real gun. But in my mind, I was just like a dumb kid. I was like, oh, that's like a toy or something. I didn't think much of it. But then the next day I found out, like, because I got questioned by a cop, 
um, apparently that kid had that gun on a school bus and, like, showed another kid. Like, apparently the kid just got it from his house, like, like his parents were, like, like just irresponsible and left the gun laying around. Yeah. And being a dumb kid, he just, like, brought it into school, like, and, yeah. um, showing people probably thinking it was cool. But apparently a kid who he showed it to on the bus knew enough, like, knew well enough to be like, hey, this is not cool, and went and told the bus driver... Oh. And then that kid was just never seen again. Like, he was a kid in our class, like, oh. just a normal kid. Second grade kid, like, pretty young, pretty dumb, you know? And yeah. then he's just gone. The one who... Uh, so who knows what happened. The, and I had a gun, cop question me. Yeah, what the, the cop say? It was like, well... Because I remember I was talking about this with my mom recently, and she was like, yeah, the cops were like, why didn't he say anything? And she was just like, well, because he's... In second grade and has never seen a gun in his life. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, I was, yeah, maybe a little too stupid to be like, oh, it was a toy, but, like, how am I gonna, I don't know. But it's just, like, that's weird, because I, I think that's before, or maybe that was directly after, like, shootings in America in, like, schools kind of started to become a thing. Um, yeah, Columbine was in, I think... 99 or 2000 yeah so this was 2001 yeah so people were probably oh, wow. a little bit on edge See, then, then it's even got more it's like doesn't feel so i mean it doesn't really feel innocent seems like he wasn't doing anything weird but maybe that's how it starts you know what's that <laughs> he didn't but do anything also like maybe that how it begins or something? I mean, you gotta take it to school first. I think... I'm having a hard I time don't, here. Oh, uh, he, oh, he said he said people... He said, is that like the first step towards the shootings, is bringing the gun to school? Oh, who knows? I mean, that kid probably thought it was like... I mean, he's a second grade kid. He maybe thought it was cool. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't knows? know, yeah, I, I don't mean, know. Who knows what that kid had going... For that kid to... Who knows what's going on at home? When yeah. there's just a gun lying around, you know what I mean? Yeah, to access to guns. Good. Yeah. Yep, that's not good. You should tell your kid not to bring the gun to school. I guess if it's around. <laughs> yeah. No, little Jimmy, you just play with this gun at home. You don't bring this to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was loaded, oh. too. Oh, gee. That's dangerous. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, fun toy. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess, know. yeah, well, guns are bad, but you could always just um, hit somebody with a rock. Also, apparently, uh, once I was in the school, br uh, school bus in Georgia, and, you know, those little, like, the packets that come in, like, a new pair of shoes box, and it's like... I never heard about running. Georgia. You grew up in Georgia? Yeah. Here, wait, actually, I'm going to leave now. I'll tell you the story later. All right, bye. Wait. Bye-bye. Oh, wait? Yeah. What about the message of the future? Uh, I mean, he's got to go. Uh. Yeah. Well, hmm. I want to record a message of the future. All right. I'm using the batteries. One of them, anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to ask. The batteries are working out? Yeah. The video is glitching, though, right now. I'm going to take it back so that it's not glitching. Mm. Hey! Future, it's us the past. There's a, there's a protest out there outside. Yellow fellow tells us a story about some kind of when he was in second grade, this kid brought a gun to school. Um, belly button lint. Yeah, white man's virus at the movie theater. The movie theater. Yeah. Well, uh, Thursday. Okay, bye, future. Bye bye. Oh, how much, how much, how much longer you got on the show tonight? Uh, oh, oh, oh. It spilled, almost spilled the water, but I had a, the cap on. I got about 15 minutes. You want, I'm going to look at these tapes. You want to, you, you want to get off the line and go to sleep? Yeah, relax. I'm going to get offline. Thanks get offline. Take it easy. Go relax. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. How's the production end going? Oh. All right. All right, I'm gonna look at those messages. Freddy's gone. We're gonna look at two weeks here. 
Where's the, oh, here's the calendar. Bye bye. We're gonna go to let's see April the fifteenth. We're gonna go to the fifteenth. Or no, the eighth. The eighth. The fifteenth is one week. We're gonna go to the eighth, which is oh I don't know when what day we went to the studio first. Maybe it was Friday last two Fridays ago. So I think it's gonna be the last basement day so we've been here for I guess two weeks now after this day we've been in the studio for two weeks it's good to be back but uh, I guess the, yeah the virus is still out there you gotta look out I guess it's numbers are up yeah and I don't need to go to the movie theater but still other things 12 when did, I, when did I say? Eighth? Yeah. Sunday. Saturday. Then Friday, and then Thursday, that's the one we're going to look at. Yeah, where's Laura? Laura, it's been a while. Where are you? Oh, here. Thursday, the, no, the ninth. I thought I said the eighth, though. Oh, it is the eighth. Okay, that was the eighth. That's right. Over We went to Lakewood. And Amy Kimchi got the frying pan. Yeah. And just watching Action Bronson. Action Bronson. I got, a, I got a blender on a stick. Oh, yeah. How's that going? All right. Bl blend your face. Blendin'. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future sets the path. Hey. Hey, future. This is the white devil, the white devil. Do yes. you want to have sex with the white devil? No. Uh, do you think that the white devil might be uh, actually maybe not that bad? No. Um, fuck the white devil. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, look out. It's Thursday. It's and that bad. Dogs and, uh, you're about to go off. I'm eating the kimchi. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm here. It's a restaurant. Like, oh, baby. Phones again. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, we're not doing message to the future. We got about two. Hey, future. Hey, it's us. Hey, future. Hello. Hey, what's up? The past. Stay out of the future, Freddy. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I got a bunch of sleepless in Seattle VHS tapes today. Five for twenty-five cents. Wow. Cool. <laughs> That's great. Bye. Yeah. Hey, future, there's no time on this one. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's that's the past. Are we going? Did you, we get this whole thing in here? I think so. Here he is. Destroy the white devil. Show him, show him the camera angles real quick for the future. Wow. We got wireless mics. No wires. Uh, let's see. Andrew, what do you say to the future? Um... Where's the white devil? Where? Alright, okay, bye future. You got bye. the bridge fixed. Hey future! It's hey, uh... Future. I'm doing this a second time. Because oh, it wasn't no. working the first time. Mm. Here's James. We got all kinds of uh, weird technical problems today. Doing this twice, getting the phones working, getting the video working. Yeah, everything's working it's now. All weird. I worked it out. All right, now I gotta yeah. get up again to change your thing. Okay. Mm. Uh, hey, Fisher, give me the gabagoo with the mozzarella. Gabagoo, we got mozzarella. We went to Walmart and Ooh, the dollar yeah. store and Freddy's, uh, one of the city council meeting for grocery stores. Yeah, give me my money. Give me that money. Hey, I was watching this one hey, on my future. TV the other day. Hey, future. There's no number on Tuesday. Still. What? It's us the past. Uh, <laughs> Barner Wolf. Barner Wolf. Barner Wolf. James. Barner Wolf, James. Barner Wolf. <laughs> what do you have to say to the future? I'm smoking in the bedroom again. Don't buy things. Yeah, I have to something too. About. 
be careful going through the door. Oh yeah, which side's the door on? Oh, that's it. Bye, future. Bye. Carbroil tape. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Hey, future. Future stuck in the past. Carbroil, but it's like fake or something. You know. We got a. We got a. We got some Joker. It, it feels like there was blue cheese mixed into the burger or something like that. We got, so we're, glit maybe we're glitching yeah. out. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. okay. Say yeah. hi to the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Can you hear me? Out, um, huh, maybe they can't hear me. Okay, bye future. Fast. Mm -hmm. uh, well, hey, everybody in the future. You need to be yourself and content with yourself, and then you can be more relaxed. Yeah, it's good, good advice. Uh, I got Far East, and they know me. Are we friends? Yeah. Okay, bye, Future. Hello. Hello. Hey, Future, it's us. The past. Yo, Yeah. It's me, again. I'm listening to the message from the past, yellow uh, fellow. James is... Spray painting cardboard. Oh, I went to Ramirez. Can you hear this? Jackfruit. A little bit. Dirty water mouth disease. Only a little bit? Uh, What's up? A little bit. Saturday. Okay, bye, future. What, what, what's up? Go? What are you doing now? I'm driving. You left, your, you left your job? Hey, future. Yeah. That man. They needed somebody to stick around in case somebody wants to rob the place with the last person leaving, you know? Did anybody want to rob the place? No, nobody. I mean, I don't know why they thought I would be uh, any help, but apparently yeah. they just need another body, you know? Yeah. Um, well... I'd be like a, a guy that you don't want to reckon with, you know? I think that's a good, like, you know, a guy... I, I, I would need to have, like, I need to learn, like, Taekwondo or... Yeah, or I something. think most of, most of the time they don't want to reckon with anybody. Who? The Who criminals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They want they want it to be easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah. So there, it doesn't even matter if you're a tough guy or an old lady. You have to really have something worth getting so upset about protecting that you're gonna risk your life in those cases. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and at that point, it's probably. I mean, what if the cop? I mean, I could see where you'd want to protect something valuable if it's like your family, but. Oh damn! I'm gonna lose you guys. I'm gonna go into a really bad reception area. Uh, right well, now. you're you're supposed to be insured, so if anybody ever tries to rob you, you just say like, "Yeah, here, here's all the money." Like, <laughs> I'm not, I don't, you know. Oh, you should be insured. You're saying they, the, the, not you personally. The, co the, the company, the working, your work should be insured, so that way, yeah. they, you know, oh, right. you just give them. Called, yeah, right. Just give them the money. Uh, if somebody ever rob, tries to rob you and say, like, I'm robbing you, you say, okay, well, here you go. Yeah. No, you, you got robbed in Philly Dauphina, didn't you? Yeah, twice. Yeah. What did they take, your phone? Yeah. Uh, weed and one time, the other time, money. You had, you had weed on you? Oh, you lose reception? Oh, oh. Um. Okay. Well, how about 2017? There's no, there's no uh, procession of the species, so I'm just gonna go uh, walk down the, uh, go protest instead. I'm gonna see if they're out, out there. Man, this thing is glitching out pretty hard for YouTube. But I'm gonna do the tape where there is no glitching. Glitching can't happen on the tape. Only artifacting. It's not the same. Oh, it's been a while since we looked at this. Facebook commercial. Message to the future high 2018 says 2017. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna switch over. We're gonna switch over to the messages of the future. I'm Mr. Gimsu also. In. Everybody's moving wires. We look at the plant and plant is growing. It's all the way to the floor. Mr. Gintu's doing much better. Maybe than ever. He's making friends. 
He's still mad at his sister, though. Uh, this Carl Sr. I told him to be friends with his sister and not be fighting with her. I think it would be, make it happier. One every night, 11.32 a.m. on TCB Channel 22. 360-364-384, follow me in message, get on TV. You. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, 2018, so it's 2017. Hi. Talk about a lot of things, get kind of out into further time. Think about maybe leaving a message for 10 years from now or taking a look at seven years from the past. Um, we talk about like if, if blood is part of your body, like bacteria mm. in your guts, and why is bacteria in your guts not a part of who you are? Yeah, and then <sighs> uh, we talked to Dan on the phone a little bit about Canadian Easter, which is the Monday, mm. and he tells us some science stuff that's kind of hard to imagine. It's on a Monday. He's upset about doctors and opiates. Oh, so. what a <laughs> oh and also his Hanawa. teacher who apparently ruined his um, life. Oh, We're so in Studio 90 Degrees today. This is the last day of the back. That's like that. Check it out. Call in if you want. Yeah, when's that, day. When's that uh, message the future going to switch over? Your daily what is that? That's a lock? What's going yeah. on there? Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh. We're blue. It's, uh, look, look, we're small. No, we're not. We're big. Oh, yeah, we're big. <laughs> and we're uh, on, you turn. on TV. We talk about a lot of things. Uh, yesterday we went into the microscopic world. Today we go out into the like the universal macroscopic uh, what do you call them talking about the moon yeah well, you, you talking about, yeah anyway also uh, we're pruning we don't even get to the phones today there's a lot of talking seeing the fruit this is the fruit of the hours you know uh, cutting things back letting them grow last day of background tape bye uh last day oh Hey, future! It's the past. Oh yeah, it's this day. Oh, this is now we're going into the times when we were doing it the other way. Uh, That's a trip. It's the 18th or 19th. What did we do today? We don't know yet. It's supposed to kind of be like what we did today. Yeah, now it's gonna be yeah, different. That's the point of why we did it at the end of the show and not at the beginning. Or in the middle. Friday, uh, because of uh, this whole being back here, but we're we're back here on the 19th and year in the future, maybe yeah. next year, maybe further than that. I'm not farther sure if we decided when we're going to be talking to you. Oh yeah, now we know. And this is the first day that we're doing this. Yeah, now so we remember we've been doing it for four years. April 19th, 2017. 2017. But we might have to do this towards the end, because so far it's just been talking and. Couple of Mr. Ginsu messages. All right, bye, future. I'm gonna tell you. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, hi. 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 How are you guys doing? Hey, I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Seventy-three. Do we're doing it. Hi, future. Oh. I'm still hi. looking at the messages from the it's past. The past. Oh. Uh, we're back here. Remember when things were more simple? I do. Times were easier. Oh man, that was here. <laughs> not as complicated. Uh, uh, yeah, are you uh, hearing there this? Was less, you know, carbon. No, I can barely hear it. Air, probably less people. I, I, in the past, and I said, do you remember back now when life was simpler? Hi. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have anything to say? <laughs> I was alive? right. I was right about that back then. I, I hope you're still alive. Simple right now, in how about the future. That? Yeah, life is actually I'm, pretty simple because it, you're, you're not, like, supposed to be. Yeah. Well, it was simple yeah, until I got the vaccine, and now it's back to being complicated and maybe extra complicated. Today we uh, talked about you can life animated so movies. Simple oh, yeah. or unsimple as you want it to be. Well, you don't have complete control of your life, though. You got it like you. There, there's a lot of out, outside factors that you don't that are out of your control. I know, but what if you're like such a like a you have such a Buddha mindset where you're like ah. The ebb and flow of life, the ups and downs, it's all the same, it's all it's the all same. The, well, you still got to eat, you still got to uh, shelter yourself, and there's still the maybe others who you're, you don't want to be your problem, but they are your problem because they exist with you and there's a human race. I'm eating chocolate. What kind of chocolate? 
my boss gave me, one of my bosses, she makes, like, really good desserts and stuff. She took, she makes, like, uh, little snack packs that's, like, almond, like, smoked almonds and, like, chocolate-covered, uh, like, nuts and lots of good stuff. And she'll put it together in a mix. And, uh... I love her. I'm in love with her. She's a nice, beautiful person. Is she really making anything? Or she's just like... Yeah, she makes it at home. She has, like, a... Apparently, like, it's what she does for a hobby. She'll make, like, amazing, like, intricate, intricate, like, really, like, well-made little desserts and snacks. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, we only have about a minute left today. What? We only have a minute left. A minute left? Yeah. Is Freddy still there? Nope. Where did he go? He's tired. He hightailed out of there? I think he so uh, he, casually he sauntered away, point? I would say. He just, wow, he snuck out of there like a little scoundrel, huh? I think he uh, announced that he was going like a, like a decent person. Oh. <laughs> uh, You hear that? Yeah. That's the sound of the. Uh, I have, I have all the respect in the world for Freddy. Good. Here's the credits. It's the end of the show. Thanks for watching. It's Thursday. We're on TCTV Channel 22 at 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, what is your viewing? Dot com or YouTube. Yeah, check that out. 360-3634, call me a message, you get on TV, yeah! Hell yeah, dog! Well, not yet, why you should be on dot com, check it out! No, I'm just saying it myself. Alright. Humanity, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, the baby, dirty, fat, best, books, four star video, market guitar player, Rebecca, Mountain Boards, Northwest, topspot.com, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you! And oh, we should call Luke. Yeah, I haven't talked to Luke in a long time. Hey, John, call me, too. Hell yeah, dog! Hell yeah, dog. Bye!